Whether you come here to work or you come here as a student, Georgetown is an opportunity. I felt educated, I felt alive, I felt like I could do anything when I left Georgetown. This is uh, the thing about Georgetown, is that striving for excellence is never a compromise. Georgetown's values have definitely stayed with me. Hopefully, I'm able to live up to that. Because of what I felt I'd gotten out of the university, I think that giving back is a really important part of uh, the experience. And I think once you've been part of that process, to stay in touch with it is staying in touch with yourself. I think it was more like Georgetown found me. It was almost a, a fait accompli because I had so many people in my family, on both sides of my family, that went to Georgetown. I wanted to experience something outside of California. I just packed up my trunk and got on a flight and, and uh, arrived in Washington, D.C., and that was the first time I had really experienced Georgetown. When I came to Georgetown, I think I came with all of the impressions of first-year students. I was excited. I was a bit intimidated by the place. When I got there, I found a community of, of uh, international dimension. So it was a very uh, enlightening experience. There were just so many experiences that were great and life-changing. I love the volunteering at St. Elizabeth's. I will never forget how to play the game Bid Whist, which is a card game that I used to get pummeled in once a week. We had a project of holding, I think probably it was the first Islamic conference bringing in all Muslim nations, and you can imagine, to a Jesuit uh, university, that was quite uh, unique. I got involved in the student corporation in my freshman year. I don't know exactly where the idea came, but one of us said, you know, it'd be great if we could start selling students groceries and sundries that they use uh, in their dorm rooms. And that's how Vado Vittles started. Today, I mean, Vital Vittles is kind of the anchor of the student corporation. In my years at Georgetown, I went abroad three times on Georgetown programs. And in those days, Georgetown didn't just send you abroad uh, on a plane. We Georgetown gentlemen was, had to travel by boat. I did manage to get special permission to buy an old car, so I traveled a great deal around Europe. And of course, along the way, I also met my future wife. The word I used to describe Georgetown is romantic because Linda and I met there. She was at the School of Nursing and I was at the law school. And now after 32 years of marriage and four great kids, Linda is the best gift I received from Georgetown. I met my husband when I was in Georgetown Medical School. We graduated on Healy Lawn from the medical school and got married in Dahlgren Chapel the following day. There was a very strong emotional tie, too, and that is that our daughter, Kathleen, she graduated and then she stayed, and she was working on campus, and, um, and then tragically we lost her. And um, today we went to uh, Dahlgren Chapel uh, to celebrate her. Sitting above my desk at home in London is a picture of Dahlgren Chapel uncharacteristically with a little bit of snow falling on it. It's beautiful. Georgetown Law laid the foundation for my business career, it taught me how to think and write clearly, and any success I've had in my business career really is attributable to the education I got at Georgetown. The one thing that Georgetown gave me was this notion of, of ideas that you could take ideas and transform the world. And it could be in business, it could be in politics, it could be in community organization. Georgetown is full of entrepreneurs, not traditionally how we think of entrepreneurs, but entrepreneurs in the world. Georgetown being a community of uh, diverse and uh, multifaceted people from all over the world uh, inevitably uh, widened the, the view that I had of the world. Uh, when I went on to work in first in intelligence and then in diplomacy, it was an essential part of my work uh, to have that broad view of the world that Georgetown began in me when I was a student there. 
One of the reasons why I think I ended up working abroad was Georgetown's overseas programs. We were in New York City, we had three children, and suddenly I was offered a position to go to London. So I said yes, and we went over there, had another three children, and settled in, and I guess as they say, you never quite unpack. Um, so uh, we've been there ever since, a total of 31 years. I know that the Georgetown experience made me a, a better doctor. I don't think there's any doubt about that. We were always taught that you don't just learn about your uh, patient's medical problem, you learn about your patient. And I think that has really served me well in my medical practice. The first year was a struggle. I was never fully convinced that I could teach. Once I figured out I could do it, and once I encountered the kind of students you have at Georgetown, it became very exciting. I like to think about that passage in Moby Dick where Eshmael says that a whale ship was my Yale College and my Harvard. And in many ways, Georgetown was my whale ship. It was about a voyage. I've been involved from Georgetown really since I graduated. We established the Institute for Global Health at Georgetown because of the obvious importance of that issue and because Georgetown faculty have so much to offer in that area. We're also focused on supporting financial aid programs so as many students as possible can have the benefit of a Georgetown education without burdening themselves with debt. I think at Georgetown we have to constantly strive to provide the resources so that anyone who deserves uh, and, and wants a Georgetown education has an opportunity to get one. What you give is invested in these people and it's well invested. There's something, your healthiness. The Jesuit context provided the ability to suggest to students that life was about more than money and power. That informed my life with my students here. President DeJoya graciously offered to host me as a visiting professor. Simply to be able to go back to Georgetown from that aspect, it is uh, most enjoyable. I was the co-founder and, and first president of the Georgetown Technology Alliance, establishing an organization that can kind of be a rallying point for uh, executives and, and alumni in this area, I think has been really, really satisfying. We have a program, World of Choices, where alumni that are in different specialties come together and meet with students and um, just give them an idea of what their particular specialty is like. It helps them to know that they're going to make it through and there are people that are going to make sure that that happens. As part of my uh, involvement in the uh, alumni admissions process, we are very keen on uh, that aspect of it that interview students from abroad. And I think that only enhances the reputation of Georgetown and significantly enhances the environment within which the student population can share. I think one has to give back. It gives me a sense of satisfaction to be able to contribute in however small way to Georgetown's excellence. John Carroll Award means a lot, and I'm determined to have a commitment to Georgetown for years to come. When I look at the other recipients of the John Carroll Award this year, I'm very flattered to be included in their company. This is quite an honor. I hope I live up to the standards of the awards, and uh, if not, then uh, you can take it back. But uh, believe me, I will fight you for that. <laughs> to borrow a, a, a phrase from the British poet A.E. Houseman, I feel chaired into this room tonight on the shoulders of my former students, and I want to thank them. To think that I've done something that is helpful to the university means a lot to me, because I love Georgetown. I guess it feels good to be loved back, so. <laughs> to bring Georgetown back to London is, I think, is a great thing, because it's a great way to celebrate. Universities celebrate uh, are all being part of this uh, broad global community.